In the previous chapter, creating the building entrances, we used an array of doors and windows to create a multi-panel wall. In Vectorworks 2015, the addition of the curtain wall object allows even more flexibility to create these types of walls. Let's revisit the back porch entrance to create a curtain wall. Download and open the exercise file gsg 2015 a 12 creating a curtain wall .vwx. This file can be found in the download section. As you can see, all of the windows have been removed from this angled wall. We're going to change this wall into a curtain wall. To do this, first in the navigation palette, make sure floor 1 is the active layer. Then, choose active only from the layer options menu. Next, activate the wall tool in the building shell tool set and click the wall tool preferences button in the toolbar. Select curtain wall for the wall type, then choose the CW multi-story grid double glazing. Under vertical grid lines, select the existing grid line and change the spacing field to 3 feet 2.5 inches. Also, set the existing horizontal grid line spacing field to 7 feet 1 and 1 quarter inches. Input 4 inches in the wall thickness field and choose center line from the offset reference menu. Now, click the frame settings button in the lower left corner. Here, we can specify multiple options for the frames. For the purposes of this exercise, just select butt glazed for the type and click OK. There are also multiple settings available to modify the panels as well, but we'll leave those as their defaults. Click the Save Preferences as Wall Style button and rename this wall style CW Multi-Story Grid DBL Glaze 4 Inches. Then click OK twice to return to the drawing area. Activate the Selection tool in the Basic Tool Palette and click the Angled Wall. In the Object Info Palette, select Replace from the Style menu. In the resulting dialog box, choose CW-Multi-Story-Grid DBL Glaze-4 from the menu in the top right corner. Make sure Center Line is selected for both styles and click OK. As you can see, the alignment of the grid is off slightly. We'll fix this by using the Edit Curtain Wall tool. Activate the Edit Curtain Wall tool in the Building Shell tool set and select Move Grid Mode. This mode will shift the alignment of the curtain wall grid. Now, click the bottom midpoint of the fifth panel on the bottom row. Then, move your cursor to the right along the X extension line. When you reach the next frame and the cursor cue Object Slash X is displayed, click again to shift the grid. Now, the grid is aligned evenly within the wall. Now, let's add another frame near the top that follows the same angle as the wall. First, we need to remove some existing frames. Choose the Select Frame mode in the toolbar. Then, hold the Shift key and select all of the top horizontal frames. Then, press the Delete key to remove these frames. Now, activate the Add Frame mode in the toolbar. Click the bottom right corner of the rightmost panel on the top row. Press the Z key and activate the snap loop if necessary. Then move your cursor along the top angled frame and press the T key to acquire the smart edge. You should notice a red extension line following the same angle as the frame. Then move your cursor down and to the left side of the curtain wall while holding the shift key. When the cursor cue object slash edge is displayed, click again to create the frame. Remember, we still need a door to access this entrance. Activate the Door tool in the Building Shell tool set and click bottom midpoint of the second panel from the left. Click again to place the door. In the Object Info palette, check the option Curtain Wall Door to fix the door inside the panel. Finally, change your layer options back to Show Snap Modify Others. There. We've created a simple curtain wall for the back porch entrance. For more information on how to use the curtain wall, please see the further exploration section.